Uh, well, I'm just going to begin uh, by asking, what, what can sort of fans of the, the Divergent series expect from this, this second movie? How does it differ to the first? It differs in a lot of ways. It's a lot bigger than the first film. Um, the action sequences are larger in scale and in scope simply because the first movie there's, I guess, a lot of running, jumping, and fighting. But in this movie there's a lot of running, jumping, fighting, climbing, scaling, uh, evading. All around there's just a lot more wire work, so it's more interesting to watch, I think. And the special effects are much larger as well. There's a lot of... Um, unexpected twists and turns in the simulations that Tris has to go through. And was it quite a challenge to get back into the, the role of Tris? Because not only is she sort of developed as a character, but you have as, as an actress as well. Yeah, it was fun to get back into her. I was looking forward to this movie because in the book, Tris is in such a darker place psychologically, and I thought that that was fascinating and something to to play upon. Um, so it was, it, was, it was a great joy to be able to... to play someone who is very strong physically and very weak mentally, but at the same time very strong in her conviction. And is there one other character that you've ever played in a movie that you'd love to reconnect with one day and play again? Hmm. No, because I think every character comes to you at a certain time in your life when you're able to, like I'll never be able to play Hazel Grace from Fault in Our Stars again because I can't empathize with where Hazel was at emotionally and, and um, and intellectually anymore, you know, because I'm in a different place in my life. So you're able to play characters based on where you're at with your age and your experience. Of course, the, the first Divergent uh, movie was such a huge success and the fans of the novels really seemed to enjoy it. I'm just wondering, does that, did that take away a bit of the pressure in this film? Because it was kind of, with the first one, it was kind of unknown as to whether they were going to sort of respond to it well, and they did. So did, did, going into this one, did you feel you had a bit more freedom, perhaps? Um, uh... I don't think you can pay attention to any of that when you're doing a movie because you're not doing a movie necessarily thinking what does someone think about it. You're doing a movie because you feel really fueled by the creativity and the passion that you're emitting and evoking within a character. It's an art form, you know? So, no, that was not a thought that crossed my mind. Of course you shoot scenes with Miles, Ansel and, and Theo. They're actors that you, you know very well, not just from this series, but from other projects as well. That must have been made for quite a, a sort of enjoyable set to be working with people that you're so, sort of well acquainted with. Yeah, incredibly enjoyable. One thing actually that I, I love about this movie is there's sort of an equal amount of males and females. Like the male to female ratio is, is the same. And that's something that is that is not that common. You know, it's either predominantly males or predominantly females in films. And luckily, everyone gets along really well and genuinely cares for each other and respects one another. So it, it's like reuniting with um, friends and family of sorts. And as for the hair, of course, you cut it off for the Fault in Our Stars. Uh, so was that the reason why it was sort of particularly short in this movie? Because in the books, it's not quite as short as Tris has it. Yeah, it's not quite as short. I could have worn a wig or extensions, but I, I sort of proposed to them. I was like, it's, there's an interesting thought of... Um, keeping Triss's hair very short. And there's a strength that comes with short hair that also comes with long hair, it's just different. Of course, I mean, it seems that there is a kind of real um, thing in the book where there's a lot of female kind of action heroes, of course, not with this and kind of the Hunger Games as well. Is that quite, a, have you noticed a kind of shift in tone in Hollywood in that regard? Do you, feel, do you find there are more roles now for, for women in, in these kind of, in this sort of ilk of movie? I think there definitely are, yeah. I mean, and it's not like it's the first time in history that this has happened, but, it is exciting to be a part of, or to, to be a part of or witness, regardless of whether I was involved or not. Just an insurgence of, no uh, pun intended. <laughs> uh, that was not meant to happen that way. Um, an insurgence of, uh, of female roles like this. It's not easy to get a pun on the word insurgent, actually, so that's pretty Yeah, I, I said it and I was like, oh, Jay. <laughs> And uh, I was just wondering as well, of course, you were initially kind of involved in the previous kind of Spider-Man movie. I was just wondering, because that's all changed hands and that's sort of Marvel have, have taken that one. And I was just wondering if, if that's a role you'd like to kind of, if Mary Jane was a role you'd like to reconnect with one day. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. I love Marvel movies and I love the way that Marvel makes movies. So I think it'd be really fun. And, and of course, I mean, you're, you're starring in Snowden uh, next, which is, I'm really excited about that one. Can you just tell us about your role and how she sort of fits into the, into the movie? Yeah, Snowden... Um, I, I play Lindsay Mills, his real-life girlfriend, um, and that's about what I can tell you. Wow. <laughs> Have you had, is there any chance of kind of 
having any contact with, with Edward Snowden at all? Is that, is that something that you, you've That's tried to do? That's a chance I'm holding out for. Yeah. <laughs> I would love for that to happen. Yeah, and just finally, of course, Allegiant is the, the next film in the, the, one of the final films in the Divergent series. Uh, when does that all get started? And you're quite excited about sort of revisiting Triss again. Yeah, Allegiant starts filming later this summer. Um, so I'm excited to get back into it. Cool. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank much you. appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!